You're listening to the Psychic Coffee Shop Podcast Network. Talking a little bit, we're going to be having some fun. Um, as I'm sure you all have seen, the president is on a state visit to the White House, and with that being a state visit, yep, nice one. I want to make sure. Um, you know, he's doing the normal: meet the queen, meet the royal family. I have seen different state visits. Um, of course, the beloved queen looks about as amused with him as she would be if she got gum on her shoes. Um, but she's being the, the lady. You know, she is forging through it. You know, the picture just, just you know, say a thousand words to this. Um, you know, he insulted her daughter and granddaughter in law. Um, and it was like, mm, yeah, you're here. Okay, what do we do with you? What is more interesting to me, however, is the protest. I don't think a world leader has been protested so heavily um, in history. As, you know, the president visiting the U.K., um, it's insane. They're blocking traffic. They're, they've got this baby Trump balloon. And I don't know who designed it, but it is all out funny. Because nobody, you know, you think about the UK and you think about protests. They don't normally like snap together, in my opinion. It's not something I immediately think about. But it's like, Mm, no, you know, the, you know the, the 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 no, you just don't. You know the the UK is normally very proper, very you know. I always think of them as very regal, and this state dinner really has no political connotation. You know, there it's just a state dinner. It's just you know, come over, do a pomp and circumstance, present our guard have a dinner, but the queen, I swear, she looks about as bland as, you know, it's like, oh, God, if I have to listen to him one more time, it's going to scream. Um, You know, and he did meet with the Prime Minister, Theresa May, in an unofficial capacity. Of course, she will be leaving. Um, She has announced her resignation. Um, And it's like, oh, please, can we, like, you know, clean this up, look a little better, you know, don't open your mouth, and you don't insult the queen's granddaughter-in-law who just had a baby. So, let's see what else is on the news. We've got, you know, a lot of things. We have Pride Month, and, you know, it's Pride for everybody. I get so tired of hearing people go, oh, you know, we don't have straight Pride, we don't have this Pride. Yes, you do. Choose June. June is whole Pride Month. All the way through June. But that's kind of what's been making the news. That's what's been making the fun. Let's get into and start taking some calls. Let's go to 775. 775, you're on the air. 775, all right. Let's move to five, uh, thir- 352. 352, you're on the air. 
Hi, may I ask you a question? Sure. Okay. Um, I am in desperate need of employment, so I wondered if you saw um, anything coming for me soon. I feel that you do take employment, and it looks to me that you'll be taking it probably within about two and a half weeks. Oh, God, wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Um, and it looks yeah. like it's going to be a job you're going to be happy at. Oh, that would be that would be more than wonderful. <laughs> I would love mm-hmm. that. I would love that. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, great, great. Yeah. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful evening. You too, darling. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. All right, let's go to six seven eight. Six seven eight, you're on the air. Oh wow. Hi, how are you? My name is Kat. Good, how are you? Great. Your name is what, darling? Kathy. Kathy, and how can I help you, Kathy? Um, employment also. I am unemployed. I have some leads. Do you mm-hmm. see them coming through, or do I need to be specific on one of them? Um, I feel like you do get employment here soon. It looks to me like you go with a larger company. So I would say focus more on the big companies because I feel like you get some little ones that are kind of like, okay, but no, this is more of a bigger company. And I have a couple of those. The one that popped in my head was um, it's a large a county firm that I would be doing consulting out of. Um, mm-hmm. I'm very interested by that one because it's kind of like I would be a full-time employee with all the benefits, right. but kind of pick and choose when I want to work, and then I get to travel a little bit and kind of mm-hmm. see the stuff for free. So, right. Any hit? And any, I. I feel like it'll be good. I feel like that that is a good opportunity for you. So I'd give it a little bit more focus because I feel like that that's kind of the right position for you. That's interesting. I do too, and it kind of came out the blue. And then when I had the first Mm -hmm. pre-screen, I was just blown away because it's just like I get the bow for best work, bow for best. Best worlds, yes. There we go. I'm yeah. so sorry. And, um, That's all right, honey. I've moved, I've moved to the next step, which is talking Good. to, uh, which should be next next Tuesday, hopefully, if they don't reschedule again, because it was supposed to be tomorrow and they had to reschedule. So um, right. crossing my fingers, because it's almost too good to be true, almost in a way, for me. Right. Um, well, it's not too good to be true because you deserve it. But here's the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is you working on some things independently, um, like taking on certain clients by you know, that are private clients that you don't have to be there 40 hours a week, and they just need you to come in, do the books, and file the reports. You're saying with, with the company I was talking about or doing that on the side? Doing that on the side as your side hustle. Oh, that would because be because you've got some room to make. Yeah, because you've got some room to be making some extra change there with that job, and with the you know the other two jobs that will give you an offer. And the other two jobs that what? That give you an offer. All of them give you the ability to do some side hustle. Um, oh. You know, and do those smaller. You know, I really need just need don't really need full accounting services. I just need someone to, you know, do the corporate reports. You know, for this little company, because that's what I see you doing in the daytime. But it's with a big name in front of you. Okay, that that's maybe I think everybody needs to have a side hustle nowadays. So I'm I'm good with that. Life is just too unpredictable now. Oh, you need well, to not only is it unpredictable, but you have that ability. And honey, you're hyper. 
So, you know, if you're doing just the basic 40 hours a week here and there and not really doing much, you're not going to do so much because you'll get bored. But if we get you into, you know, this consulting, it's actually a full-time job, and then you've got your side hustle that you can do when you want to, I don't think you'll get as bored as you have been. You're right, because I, I, I'm – Better busy than none busy. You're you're absolutely right. right. Um, I right. I actually perform better busy than not busy because mm-hmm. then if I'm busy, I start to procrastinate. I can get that procrastination gene real quickly, and it's like, oh, I got time, I got time. But when you're busy, mm-hmm. you can't procrastinate, and you have to be organized. And I am really organized. <laughs> so it's right. when I go to the other side it kinda throws me off balance. It doesn't it throws right. my whole aura off balance, believe it or not. It, it really well, it does. throws your whole aura off it's still it throws your mood off balance and you're like, I'm gonna kill somebody if I have to you know, and you put things off. So yeah, I would do a, a side hustle, you know, there's like some you know, ad bulletin, whatever they call it around you. Throw an ad out there that you'll do white accounting clients, and you know, you know, look that type of thing. But also go mm-hmm. after the consultant job because I think you'll do wonderful there. You see if they'll offer it to me by the end of the month. <laughs> I think they do offer it to you by the end of the month. Okay. 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 Um, anything else you see you want to tell me that I missed or mm, did not? I think you need to focus a little bit on self-care, but you are getting there. Other than that, I think you're doing well. Oh, well I wouldn't say I'm doing well, but I'm, I'm doing my best. Um, just another quick thing. I have a mm-hmm. – I have a um, line of credit that is – severely in default and Mm -hmm. it got transferred from one company to another when it was with the first company they didn't bother me on it now they it got transferred a couple months and Mm -hmm. they're trying shady stuff and maybe potentially trying to foreclose but i've been pushing back but I keep reading, because I'm in accounting, I keep reading stuff, and I don't even think they legally have the right or have the documents to prove it. So are they just trying to... Request them. Oh, I have. I've sent them three certified things last month. Mm-hmm. And then prior to that, right. I've sent stuff. But the problem is, is that they don't send back the proper documents. So I continually push back. So are we just going to play this pushing a paper game or they're going to try to leverage and try to take Oh, I don't think they're going to. They've got a lot to stand on, honey. I think they bought a batch of bull crap, you know, not even the proper paperwork on any of it. And I think it gets, goes away because you're going, oh, you bought this. Okay, that's interesting. You want to make a quick buck here. Oh, you can't because you didn't do it the right way. And I document all their little shadiness. Oh, I'm documenting like no tomorrow. What um, mm-hmm. What my goal – they're shady. I'm hoping that – I can just keep playing this paper game until I get uh, uh, five cents or ten cents on the dollar of what they say I owe, and go here. You go take it or oh, leave it. Leave Lord, your phone no. or you get it. You don't even no, do that. Two cents on the dollar, if that. That's if they don't end up having to pay you. Okay, um, because I would okay. be willing to do. They release the claim on my deed mm-hmm. and stuff like that, which I don't think they properly have, but I need all that in writing. And so right. you make me feel good because I've been I've been researching mm-hmm. I've been researching away and I finally found their financials and I know how to read financials and the way they have it categorized on their financials, mm-hmm. it really right. appears they they can't do anything unless I'm reading this wrong, which I'm study digging. Um, I'm like, I agree with you. Okay, thanks for validating me. 
because I have been. You're not reading it wrong, but you also need to document them. And this is why, because they, can, they have certain protocols they have to file by. I don't think they're following those protocols. That'll cost them, depending right. on the state, the amount. Right, and I and I'm almost there. I have to sign the trust and the pooling service agreement, which I'm having a hard time putting my fingers on it. But I'll get there. I'm I'm a yep. hunt and hunt and I'll get there. But that once I get that last piece, I I'm good. Like you said, that will give me total. Right. But I I'm got I'm sending everything certified return receipt where. I proved that I sent it. I proved that I sent it within the mm-hmm. 30-day window that they actually right. received it, keeping all the mm-hmm. BS documents that they sent me. Because right. just, for, for example, they sent me a spreadsheet that supposedly supports the amount I owe. A spreadsheet, you can create a spreadsheet. That's not the original document, really. And then on no. top of this, wait, wait for this, ACES, on the spreadsheet, they didn't even have enough common sense to make sure all the formulas were not showing and the amount showed. That's how, yeah, I can't right. make this up. So thank no, you. No, I mean, well, and this is common behavior with debt collection companies, honey. So you hold them to the wall. You write down every time they call you. Um, if you've requested them to only communicate by mail and they call you, that's an infraction on the Fair Credit um, Act. Yep, and they've done that four times, and they know they're not supposed to call me at all. I'm documenting, and no. thank goodness for cell phones, it's all on my call history, mm-hmm. too. And, and they're so bold, they've left two messages on top of that. I'm like, you couldn't be that stupid. You you just couldn't be. Right. You just so – I'm right. yeah, so that today, yeah, you, you – just let some employment come through. I am claiming mm-hmm. it's a consulting job. And I appreciate you talking to me. Um, So thank you for your time. You're welcome. You have a great day, darling. You too, sir. All right. All right, guys, we're going to take a break. And when I come back, I'm going to be taking more of your calls. Do you like a little more grrr with your coffee? Then tune in to Mountain Bears here on Blog Talk on Friday nights at 9 p.m. for the latest in LGBT topics, current events, and technology. Every Friday night, we'll be here. Join us as the Mountain Bears explore these topics and more. So I'm a cat, and I just moved in with this new human, and she's got this little toy she's always playing with, all day long. Tap, 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 bloop, bloop. She can't put it down. There it is. Oh, and get this. She even talks to it. Last week, she asked it for Chinese, and guess what? Egg rolls showed up like magic. Humans have cool toys. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person. Adopt. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the ShelterPetProject.org. Hi. Welcome. Relax. Have a cup of your favorite topics with your host, Ace and Knight. There's nothing like a good conversation to warm your soul and give your spirit a break now and then. Ace has such a wonderful way of exploring topics like psychic phenomena, important topics in our daily lives from a psychic's point of view, and you never know who else will stop by. Live on Blog Talk Radio. So come on in. We made a fresh cup of Java just for you. Hi, I'm Rain. And this is Raven Wind, and we're the Feather and Bone Podcast, two witches talking about everything witchy and nothing at all. We consider ourselves to be energy-based spiritualists, non-traditionalists, and decidedly not Wiccan. Our views on magic and life in general don't align with other pagans in the community, but we have a live-and-let-live outlook on life. So if you want to learn something new while laughing a whole lot, you can find links to our podcast, Facebook page, products, and purchase tarot readings at featherandbone.net. As a busy modern woman, I'm constantly on the go. Having to make multiple stops while I'm out shopping or getting things done just doesn't work for me. 
That's why I love going to the Crystal Lotus Shop for every one of my metaphysical needs. They have all the basics like stones, candles, sage, plus they carry jewelry, herbs, cards, a variety of unique gifts, and several other items you're probably looking for. Uh Uh-oh, sounds like my husband's old college injury flared up again. That's okay. I can count on the team of healers at the Crystal Lotus to fix him right up. They offer massage, Reiki, Kalamni, as well as other energy modalities, all performed by licensed, highly trained, and gifted practitioners. And while he's being taken care of, I'll sit down and get some guidance by one of their accomplished psychic readers. Oh, and did I mention they do custom orders and have gift certificates as well? They even offer yoga several days a week for all levels of experience. Plus, the last Saturday of every month, they have Psychic Saturday, where they offer discounts on readings as well as many healing sessions. Stop in to meet Shauna and the rest of the family there. They're located at 89 Old Main Plaza in St. Albans, where the Loop Pharmacy used to be. Or give them a call at 304-729-8055. Crystal Lotus taking the spirit where the body cannot go. You're listening to the Psychic Coffee Shop Podcast Network. Choosing a psychic is hard, and you don't want to waste time finding one that's right for you. You've thought about calling into the show, but you want more privacy than that? With services from phone, email, chat, text, and his network availability, you need to check out ASIN's website at asinnight.com. Just a few clicks and you can have your own personal, private psychic reading. On asinnight.com, you can also find out about VIP packages, scheduling parties and events, and signing up for his classes. What are you waiting for? Talk to ASIN today. All right, welcome back. Let's keep taking your calls. Let's go to 201. 201, you're on the air. 201. 201. Let's go to 551. 551, you're on the air. Oh, wow. I didn't think I would get on. Hi, how are you? Good, honey. How are you? I'm pretty good. Um, this is um T, and I'm calling from New Jersey, and I just had Hi, a relationship. Hi, I was just having a um relationship question. I'm dealing with somebody who starts with a J. Um, want to know mm-hmm. what's going on with that, or do you see somebody new coming in? I think what's going on with that is that it's got to grow up. I feel like they came into this relationship very immature. I also feel like he doesn't have his act together, and the communication is just terrible with the two of you. So he's got to get that moving ahead before really anything else can be pulling itself together. And that's why it's up, down, back and forth. You rotate yourselves around like clocks. You fight and argue, and then you're back together, and everything's perfectly fine. Then you're back to fighting and arguing. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Okay. Mm-hmm. So you're looking at about two months there before you're steady, and you got him basically in a better place to have the relationship. In between now and then, honey, I wouldn't take anything serious. Okay. I would treat I'm it like a- you're just yeah. dealing with him. Okay. Uh, do you see anybody new then? I think you've got options on it if you want to shop them. But I'm going to tell I'm, you, I uh, stay out of the clearance section because you have a habit <laughs> of let me fix you. Mm-hmm. That ain't going to work here. Okay. You, yes. you 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 don't fix men. You can't fix them. You, They're never do, fixable. Do you, do you, they got issues coming in. <laughs> Do you see anything from the boutique coming in? <laughs> oh, I feel like there's something from the boutique coming in, honey, but it's kind of like, mm, I don't know if I want that or not. 
because that's the look you give him. That slot, that slant to the left off. I was like, mm, I don't know about that. Because I don't feel you get settled into a relationship any way we go until about mid September. Okay, but not with the the with the one that I mentioned first. That is a possibility, but you know you're going to have to let him clean up his act first. Okay. And that's where you go and you say, I need this, I need this, I need this, and I need this. Let me know when you match those needs. Okay, and then the one from it's one from Atlanta that's coming up, but he's old, mm-hmm. like he's from the. Um, and I'm not quite sure how that is going to go because it's going to be a long three days. I don't think it'll be a long three days. I think it'll be a fun three days. It actually goes fairly well for you. Um, but again, he's got issues. You know, he's got issues. You need to give him something to work on, okay? Okay, okay. So that's like no weird, going nowhere fast either. <laughs> no, honey, you ain't got a fast way out of this at all. There is no pour water <laughs> and heat for three point five minutes. <laughs> oh my god! So it's just nothing. It's just, I guess, me working on me <laughs> these next couple of you months. You working on you and you realizing your worth. Yeah. Okay, yeah. um, because that's what you need is you need to realize your worth. You need to realize that, oh, no, 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 you mm-hmm. are going to get, you know, you only, ex- you know, you don't go into Walmart and buy dresses half sewn or mm-hmm. bread that's not even baked right. Why are you doing mm-hmm. this in your love relationship, honey? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's true. It's, it's, I don't know what. I just don't know what in that. I don't know what's going on with that. Like, and it's been like that for years. So, definitely need to yeah. clean that. You up. need to work on self value, self worth, mm-hmm. and self. You know, what, setting out your goals of what you want in the relationship, mm-hmm. and treat it like you're ordering it from a catalog. You want someone that can communicate with you. That's going to show up on time that's going to be faithful, that's going to have, you know, all this yeah. together. Yeah. You know, he so needs to have a job. He needs to work. You know, like, I don't date men that don't cook. I don't date men that will not drive. Um, mm-hmm. You know, whatever your list is. Okay. Form that mm-hmm. now, and then look at what fits into the box. Okay. Am I just overlooking the ones um, because I just like the clearance section, or it, it's just I'm not? A, I don't you're know. You're not like, even entering the set. You're not even going. You yourself have a real problem with self worth, and mm-hmm. you have seen dysfunction after dysfunction of relationships. Mm-hmm. So that's what you think it is, and it's like, no, honey, that's not what it is. Mm-hmm. That's not how it is. That's not how it's done. That's not the way it plays. Okay. So the one in September okay. would be the boutique? Um, I feel the one in September will meet what you need. Okay. Okay. And the one in and it's again, it's an option. You've got some options here to look at. It's a choice point. But okay. it's your choice what you do with that. Okay. 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 All right. Well, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. You have a great evening. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Let's move on to 406. 406, you're on the air. Well, hello, Aiden. It's Dulce from Kauai. Hi. How are you? You know, I'm 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 doing good. I'm doing good. I I really appreciate the information you gave me yesterday. It's uh, it's sitting really well. Um, good. I, I appreciate your clarity. So my question no is problem. on this trip that I'm going to be heading out in the next I don't know sometime around the 10th, 11th, and heading to mm-hmm. Montana and then to to Wyoming to pick my things up. And then mm-hmm. visiting family, um, there's always the 
the concern about cash flow and income. And I do mm-hmm. have some regular clients. However, well, not however, but I'm just looking at how does the outlook for bringing in a, a continuous flow of income wherever I am look. I've got lots of skills. I do work on the phone. I'm a hands-on body worker. And I'm not afraid to, you know, to work hard when but I want to be sure. cash flow. So what, how's that looking? For the well, I think you'll be fine with cash flow. I don't think that you'll have any issues there. I think the trip okay. goes well. You've got clients. You're going to have to watch your scheduling of clients with your travel times um, mm-hmm. because you will be traveling multiple times, time zones. But I think you're going to be perfectly fine with it. Okay. Well, the, okay. the hair on my arms is standing up, so I, 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 my body's speaking to the truth of what you've just said. Mm-hmm. And you normally don't have a problem with cash flow. You have a problem with getting up and moving and like, okay, this is what I need to go do. Ooh, but ooh, you're still trying okay. to work yourself out. Okay? Okay. So I wouldn't okay, worry about okay. cash flow. I would just watch your time zones. Okay. Well, that's, yeah, because I, <laughs> I talk to people in all time zones. Thank you you, you do, but your see, you're going from, you know, Hawaii, which is plus six for an East Coaster, to Mountain Time, which is um, plus two, and that can, oh. you can literally end up booking yourself the same appointment slot because you're in two different time zones. Right, right. Well, I'm, I, will, I will be focused on, on keeping, um, having clarity in terms of time. And allowing myself right. to adjust for the body right. moving through time zones. Exactly. So I think you're going to do well. Um, I think the trip goes well. It's a lot easier for than what you think. Um, and then you can move forward. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you for your clear Thank you for your clear You're statement. welcome. I, I, I appreciate it. <laughs> Anytime, darling. You have a great evening. I will. Thank you. Bye bye. All yeah. right, let's go on to seven four zero seven four zero. You're on the air. Hello, Ethan. This is William. Hi, William. How are you, darling? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I was the first uh, call or text from Amanda's show the other day, and you mentioned uh-huh. about me. Uh, just uh, watching my emotions and paying more attention mm-hmm. to my dreams. My dreams, right. I just don't remember. Are, are there any messages there, that are coming through? Well, that, from, I don't get a lot of messages other than he needs to be watching his dreams. And with that, my tip is to put a notepad beside your bed. As soon as you wake that? up in the morning, I don't care if you put a notepad you know, notebook okay. and pen, right beside yeah. of the bed. And as soon okay. as you wake up in the mornings, before you get your coffee, and I know that's dangerous for some people, just write whatever huh. you feel. Okay. Okay. And it, you're, it trains the brain to pull that information from the subconscious to the conscious. Okay. That's gotcha. Okay. And I think Pretty that cool. you'll be perfectly um, – good with that, and I actually feel like you'll start getting your messages together. Excellent. Okay. okay. You're amazing, Ethan. Thank you so much for your time You're today. You're welcome. You too. You have a great day. You too. Thank you, Ethan. All right. Let's try. 512. 512? 512. Going once. Going twice. All right. Well, Guys, that's all the callers tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and end the show out early. And it looks like next week I'm going to be doing taking with your calls too. If, unless, you know, I get a guest booked or something. Or something major happens and we have a lot of fun. So until then, you guys have a blessed night. And if you need me, you can always book an appointment by calling my office or going to my website, com. Have a wonderful full evening, guys. 
Choosing a psychic is hard, and you don't want to waste time finding one that's right for you. You've thought about calling into the show, but you want more privacy than that? With services from phone, email, chat, text, and his network availability, you need to check out Asen's website at asennight.com. Just a few clicks and you can have your own personal, private psychic reading. On asennight.com, you can also find out about VIP packages, scheduling parties and events, and signing up for his classes. What are you waiting for? Talk to Asen today. You're listening to the Psychic Coffee Shop Podcast Network. 